Rocket Boys, it's Friday night, so you know what that means. There's a new promo out, right? and we have got 50 player picks for that. So let's start opening these and see what we get. Today, I thought that there's obviously not going to be a new batch out, I'm pretty sure. Or it could be. So I'm not sure if Stacks was in that first batch, you know. Um, but we'll see. It might just be a mix between the first and the second. That would be lovely, to be fair. Um, but yeah, today I thought we would have a talk about FPL because do you know what the season's coming around. It comes around very quick, to be honest. It's coming around very, very quick. Um, and I drafted mine out the other day, so I thought that we could have a little talk about that. Um, but yeah, first I've got a comment idea for you guys. Um, I want you to name your team and then put next to it where you think they'll finish in the league this season. So for me, me personally, I'm a Norwich fan, um, and I think we're probably going to win the league this season. There, I've said it guys, early prediction, uh, but yeah, I think we've done really good business, I think we've got a very strong squad, now I don't actually think we will win the league, I think we'll be up there though, I think we'll be up for like second, third, fourth maybe, um, it looks like it is just batch two again, it could be batch one with it, I'm, I'm too stupid to understand, but yeah, let's have a talk about FPL here, so I drafted my team obviously the other day, um, and here is who I've went for, so my, my two goalkeepers, uh, it's Jordan Pickford, it's the first one, and then Crystal Palace is Dean Henderson. So I thought, sort of, you know, Jordan Pickford, Everton are quite good defensively, um, and he's quite a good goalkeeper. He's good at penalty saving, do you know what I mean? That's going to be a good one. And then we've got Dean Henderson as well, he was very cheap. And Crystal Palace, again, were very good defensively towards the end of last season, so that's why I've gone with them too. Um, and then obviously you get five defenders. I've gone for Josco Vardiel for City. Ben White for Arsenal. This has been a long time since we've got a special card. Valentin Barco for Brighton. Jad Bramfway for Everton. And Ian Matson for Villa. So hopefully Ian Matson starts. That one is I'm a bit worried about. Um, but Barco should start. Branthwaite should well, will start. Okay, Adams. Yeah, I think this is just batch two again. And then White and Gavardi are good picks. Gavardi got a lot of goals last season. Um, ben White... Again, I think he's probably going to play very high up now because they've got Calafiori left back. Um, so he'll probably invert. That's my idea there. Barco, he's 4 mil, and I anticipate him starting because they've made a big deal out of his signing, like a really big deal. Uh, and then Brantway, okay, again, he's very tall. Could have scored quite a few goals. Um, and Everton. And then Matson, yeah, I hope he starts. And I think he'll do all right at Villa because, obviously, Villa, they're a good team. Right, I've got five midfielders again, so let's read these out for you guys. Mate, it's been a long time since it well, we got a few actually. But there's not been many special cards in this 50. Obviously we'll do a hundred tomorrow as well, so make sure you go check that out and subscribe for that. Um but yeah, my five midfielders, here we go. So we've got Foden, Rodri, Palmer, Bruno Fernandez, and James Madison. So Foden, obviously best player in the Premier League last season. I had to get him in somehow. And then I have Rodri as well. Rodri scores a fair few goals. He's probably not the best for FPL, but he is a, he's probably probably my Ballon d'Or pick for this year. Um, so I've gone with him. And then obviously you've got Cold Palmer. Really good player. He, he, hopefully uh, Enzo Moresca can get the best out of him. Bruno Fernandes as well. He did really well towards the end of last season. I'm hoping that he can replicate that for Man United this season. And then I've gone with Madison as well. If he can get to that form that he had before his injury last season, that will be an amazing pick for me. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see. And then my front three, I think this is really dodgy. Um, and you guys might laugh at me here, but here we go. We've got Kai Havertz, Darwin Nunes, and Joe Pedro. Now, again, I'm not sure that Joe Pedro will start, but he's there because he's very cheap. And when he did start, he's got a lot of goals and got a lot of assists. Um, so we've gone with him. We've got Darwin Nunes. I think he'll do well this season. You know, I think... He was just getting used to the Premier League to get his full ability out. And I feel like this season could be his season to shine. And I've gone with Kai Havertz because I think he sh I'm not sure if he'll be the starting striker for Arsenal. I might change that one to Gabriel Jesus. But I think that there'll be goals in this season for Arsenal. And I thought that Kai Havertz might be the man. But I think Jesus will probably be that starting striker for them this season. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see. But yeah, that's my team. Obviously, could be subject to change. But I'm going to win everything this season because I, I think that team's pretty good, to be fair. And it's basically perfect timing because we've got seven player picks yeah, left here. Um, but yeah, very, very nice stuff. 
These are in pretty mid to be fair. Not much coming out of these. Five more to go. We're going to do a little skip one here. And there we go. We get an icon, Long Blanc. We'll go over it at the end. See how many special cards we did get. I don't think I've got a single new one, by the way. My club is stacked. I'm going to do a club tour video. It will come out tomorrow. Potentially in the morning, potentially in the night. I'm not sure when I'll have time. But yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, my club's just becoming insanely stacked now. I could have done with a new batch just to get some more players in, to be honest. Because I can't get rid of them. I can't throw them away. But anyways, the last player pick. Probably does sum it up quite well, to be fair, in 83. We've got no new special cards. And the, the highest rated new player was Hegerberg. But yeah, let's count up these specials. So we've got four on this page. Two more, so that's six. Eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Fourteen special cards out of fifty. That's about one every three. It's not bad, but it's not good. We will be back tomorrow for 100 player picks. So yeah, boys, see you then.